Welcome. Deep Red was released in 1975 and was directed by Dario Argento. It stars David Hemmings and Daria Nicolodi, and it's about a psychic medium who is brutally murdered and it is all caught by a musician. I don't know what it is with Dario Argento films, but apparently he loves his composers and musicians and stuff like that because this is, I think, the maybe the second or the third film that I've watched of his that kind of is about a musician or something like that. And I've always wondered why there weren't as many films that are about a composer or a musician. I mean, you have ones that I've already reviewed, like the Sonata. Uh, there's also the one that came out. Uh, oh, it was like the, uh, it was the films that was released by Blumhouse, the four of them. And I can't think of the name of it right now. Oh, uh, Nocturne. Nocturne. You have, like, films like that, but th there's never really been a lot about an actual musician and not being completely about music. Uh, you have The Changeling, which I just recently reviewed that had that. But before then, I really didn't watch a lot of movies with that. And since I've started watching Giallo, this is the third one that's come up. <laughs> I mean, you have Apoda, which, uh came out in 1986, also by Dario Argento, which is, yeah, that one's like full on music, like it is about an opera. <laughs> but this one, Deep Red, uh, about musician, but it doesn't really focus on the aspect of him being a musician. It's more so about the murder that he witnesses and tries to, I guess tries to stop, I don't know really his idea of going up to the apartment. But, uh, let me just say, I love this film. This was so much fun. And I, I just want to say before I even start the review that you should watch this film before I start going into it. Uh, I watched it on... Where did I watch this one? Oh, uh, this one I watched on Shudder. This one is available on Shudder. If you don't have Shudder, then I highly recommend you get it. Uh, if you want to do, like, the free... 30 day trial stuff like that uh i think code dead meat or dead meat james or dead meat 30 one of those uh works for you to get a 30 day free trial for it and when you're going to cancel it they're going to ask if you want another free month so technically you get two free months of shutter just make sure that you're going to cancel it the first time because it doesn't just give you another free month for without doing anything <laughs> but okay enough talking about shutter enough talking about uh no, uh, you go watch the film. We are going to discuss this movie, and it is so much fun. The colors in this are so beautiful. Uh, I wouldn't say it's on Suspiria level of beautiful, but this is the film that was made. Uh, I think this is the film that was made right before Suspiria, or it was like one or two movies away from it. And I know a lot of people will say that this is. Dario Argento's greatest work, uh, although Suspiria is more well known. I lean towards the side of I like Suspiria more than Deep Red, but that isn't to diminish this movie at all. It is excellent, and let's just talk about it. So first off, when we're talking about Giallo, we have to talk about the mystery of the movie. Giallo films are basically mysteries uh, with lots of blood and gore. Uh, that's like the most easiest way to put what a giallo film is and this just perfectly emulates that it's a great mystery uh it doesn't stray too too far from what we're trying to figure out uh which i'll kind of discuss with another giallo film i watched by dario argento how it strays a little bit too much but this one stays right where we need it to be there are some epic kills that happen within this movie that are so much fun there's a lot of different clues that are left, and on rewatching specific parts of it, those clues that they tell us were actually the pieces that we needed at the end were placed throughout the movie. So it wasn't one that lied about seeing something earlier on that didn't happen. I made I went back and made sure that 
it happened and it did and i'm just so happy that it did that because i was like oh my god how did i see this the first time <laughs> but yeah mystery awesome the blood and gore effects are so freaking good uh what a lot of people draw issue with uh in giallo films are number one the dubbing uh in this movie, I've got to say, this is some of the best dubbing that I've seen in a Dario Argento movie. It's not as weak as in other films that I've watched. Like, Phenomena, it was a little bit uh, iffy on certain lines. Suspiria, of course, has its iffy moments. This one does, of course, as well, since there is dubbing, but it's probably the best dubbed out of the movies that I've seen of his. I think where I draw the largest fault with this movie is if you pay attention to the beginning when something happens in the end you know that's not right and you kind of know it for like 10 minutes before our character is kind of like hmm that probably would be my biggest issue with the film uh it's just so much fun uh, it's a fun movie there's cool kills which is what you want with the giallo film there's the big reveal that is great, and the ending sequence. Oh my god. <laughs> it was a lot, but it was it was so much fun. The ride that we went on was so amazing, and overall, I would give this movie a 9.5 out of 10, and I 100% recommend it. If you love Giallo films, 100% watch this movie. You have to. Or, if you just are a film fan in general, watch this. I think now we've come to a, a point in time where people will find it corny. Uh, so you really just have to look at it from when it comes out. And I think then you'll have such a fun time with this movie. So thank you everyone for watching this review. And be on the lookout for more reviews in the future. I've got two more Giallo films before Malignant comes out. So be on the lookout for those. I don't want to spoil which ones they are. And I don't think I did in the other video. So... If I already did, then oops. But <laughs> but if I didn't, then just be on the lookout for the next Dario Argento film. But let's flash forward to the next review.